Do you remember that still summer evening when, in the cosy cream-washed living room of the old nail shop, we all talked and laughed, our neighbours from the gallows, Catherine and Nacelle's Abercrombie, Rupert Brooke, Eleanor and Robert Frost, living in a while at Little Itton's, who'd brought over with them Helen and Edward Thomas. In the lamplight we talked and laughed, but for the most part listened, while Robert Frost kept on and on and on, in his slow New England fashion for our delight, holding us with shrewd turns and racy quips, and the rare twinkle of his grave blue eyes. We sat there in the lamplight, while the day died from rose-latticed casements, and the plovers called from over the low meadows, till the owls answered them from the elms. We sat and talked. Now a quick flash from Abercrombie, now a murmured dry half-heard aside from Thomas, now a clear laughing word from Brooke, and then again Frost's rich and ripe philosophy, that had the body and tang of good draught cider and poured as clear a stream. T'was in July of 1914 that we sat and talked. Then August brought the war and scattered us. Now, on the crest of an Aegean isle, Brooke sleeps and dreams of England. Thomas lies neath Finney Ridge, where he among his fellows died just as life had touched his lips to some. And nigh as ruthlessly as life divided us who survive, for Abercrombie toils in a black northern town beneath the glower of hanging smoke, and in America frost farms once more, and far from the old nail shop we sojourn by the western sea. And yes, was it for nothing that that little room, all golden in the lamplight, thrilled with golden laughter from the hearts of friends that summer night? Darkness has fallen on it, and the shadows may never more be lifted from the hearts that went through those black years of war and live. And still, whenever men and women gather for talk and laughter on a summer night, shall not that lamp rekindle, and the room glow once again alive with light and laughter, and, like a singing star in time's abyss, burn golden-hearted through oblivion. <laughs>